today we're gonna do a little garden tour. It is the end of June here in the south. Hasn't been too, too hot this year. We've only broke 100 once. We did have some lettuces here, but they have all gone because it got too hot. Some of our grapevines died this year. So there used to be many more grapevines over here. Hoping this one might come back next year from the roots. Here is a grapevine. It's doing okay. Our other grapevines have grapes on them. Might need to put some bird netting to protect these. These are wine grapes, so they don't get huge, but they will develop um, into a different color and much sweeter. And then the birds will eat them all if I don't net them. Here is our other grapevine. I think this one might be a Lenore, which is a dark grape. Here is my favorite part right now. It's looking really nice. We have a row of sunflowers on the right some cottage garden type flowers here. Our tomato cage, which I will get into. So we started these flowers from seed. This is a zenia. Um, this one is a marigold. This is actually um, some cilantro or coriander, which has gone to flower actually don't remember what these ones are. This is a little volunteer vine with a little white flowers. Um, a mystery flower, if you know what this one is, let me know. Um, we planted so many seeds and some of them are a mix of cottage garden that I'm not sure. Here are the marigolds. another zinnia in a different color. And then this right here <laughs> is our zucchini. That is one zucchini plant. It is about, I don't know, eight feet wide. Maybe it's two, maybe it's two. We've got some flowers. I picked all of our zucchini yesterday. Although they are sneaky and you have to really look Sometimes they hide behind the leaves. So these sunflowers were put in by seed a couple of weeks ago. We've got a compost bin back there. A little barn shed. Oh, I see a red tomato. This is more cilantro coriander, which has gone to seed. Over here we have onions and beans. Um, these very large leaves are the beans. This particular plant hasn't made beans yet, but we've got some flowers over there which should turn into beans. This is a pepper plant. I'm not seeing peppers on this one yet. More pepper. Peppers. You can see our onion stalks back there that went to flower. Here are some peppers. And I got some red peppers over there. This is some kale, which we really need to pick and start eating. This was broccolini, which has gone to flower. More peppers in different varieties and sizes. This is a small one makes little round peppers. We have jalapenos and we have banana peppers, so we have different strengths. Here's our tomato cage. This keeps 
birds and squirrels and everything from eating our tomatoes. We do make a map every year so that we know what variety is planted where because we do have a lot of different kinds and they will get out of their cages and spread um, so you can barely walk through here. It hasn't been super hot so we've only gotten maybe five or six tomatoes. one but it looks not good should have picked it sooner even though we looked and didn't see it 